Okay, time to get back into the board game. This is the latest expansion for HeroQuest against the Ogre Horde. So this is like a, just in the last few months it has been recently released. So like a, this is basically like the unboxing version of it. So like the up close kind of like an idea of the, the uh, cover of the artwork. And of course like a, as I cover up the camera. Oh, unboxing so the, you get new uh boards with it so like the whole idea is like you get like um this concept for this one is actually like an arena type of deal so like uh, the actual boards you can see you get like a usual like the secret doors the pits and like a uh, fallen rocks you get like a uh, arena type you know, tiles that you can put on the main board and everything and of course like uh they these have flip sides so like a uh, good old hourglasses plus like you can see here like a uh, uh, like treasure type of thing so bridge attack and so the whole concept of the, the this is a kind of like the uh arena type of uh quest that you'll see so like uh and like uh good old like uh tiles and like the great thing is like these are well, dual sides so like um get yeah, uh, two sides and so dual side you can use both of them so like the gold uh quest book so i won't necessarily go through that so that way yeah, people like they don't get like a spoiler to the actual like uh, uh quest themselves so like uh, you get those and plus you get like the usual uh cards so like uh you can see that like uh the new character they introduced uh, in this one is the druid so kind of like this similar to like they made like the stats to like the elf and of course you got like two different versions of the druid and of course now you got like the you can transform into the actual wolf or i should say this is a companion so then you get into like um ogre mercenaries where like uh sort of like the mercenaries in previous expansions that you can get you can get the ogre mercenary and of course, like uh, the monsters that you go up against, like the uh, main ogres you can see are kind of like uh, he uh, hefty with their uh, stats and everything. So like you can see like uh, the ogre warrior here has like uh, five body points. So like uh, attack five and defend four. So like uh, these big ogres are kind of like, uh, like I said, hefty. So they're on par with probably like the barbarian. So you can see here like the ogre commander, six body points, two mind points. He's that uh, these guys are definitely chonkers when it comes to like a uh, being able uh, to fight them. So, and of course, you can see they have good uh, attack dice and defend dice uh, along with their body points. And of course, the the ogre lord's probably like the most hefty one of them all, as you can see six attack dice and six defend dice and ten body points. So, you're, you're going to be like uh, going up against like a uh, uh, hefty, uh, hefty duty uh, character in the ogre lord here. Uh, here. So, like uh, the whole concept of the these other ones is like uh, yeah, archers so like uh, you can see the orc archer uh, goblin archer of course like that would be probably like a molotov cocktail type of concept and of course you also got a skeleton archer so the those three tend to be like uh your kind of fodder so now you get like a new uh uh concepts with like a, a mind control type of thing so and these ones, like uh, you can see, like uh, you have multiple ones, so it goes into description of like the actual like uh, what this dominate this spell uh, does, so or uh, ability. So you got multiple ones for this one, and then like you can see here, like with mind burst, it's the same kind of concept. You get like um, an idea of what this uh, ability or this uh, spell or whatever you want to call it does. So you got several iter uh, cards for that, and so you got three different ones, and so you got uh, Mind Lock, the uh, same kind of concept that like goes into detail on what it does and everything, so and you got multiple cards for that, and then like you also got the abilities for the Druid, so you got the good old uh, Shape Shift, uh, Pixie, and the old life force so this druid is just like another 
uh, character you can use in your place of one of the, the the four main characters, or you can add in more. Uh, you could do probably five or six characters if you really wanted to as well. So good old like a uh, you know, double style. So like uh, pulling out these good old. You can see how big these guys actually these ogres actually are. So to kind of like uh, give like a, a reference for like a. And it, um, good old tiles to see how big these guys actually are so you can see they actually take up like a a whole two squares and everything so these guys like i said are like your big uh, chonkers and stuff so like uh these are like sort of like uh newest versions of like the chaos uh the dread lords or the dread warriors or the chaos warriors whatever you want to call them so like um and of course, like I said, like uh, the ogre overlord, the ogre lord is perhaps the most uh, the heftiest of them all. So they, they definitely are big. So you do get the uh, usual red, uh, red char uh, characters for the druid and stuff. So just kind of like a, to kind of give an idea on how big these guys uh, actually are compared to like your druids. So you can see how huge they are. So those ogres are definitely big as well. So, and of course, like uh, you got your usual like uh, cannon fodder, like the the oh, the skeleton archer, the goblin archer, and like uh, your orc archer. So those guys are basically just like your cannon fodder type of deal compared to like your, your ogres, which are your big hitters. And of course, like you also get like um. You know, four of the can uh, the ogre mercenaries that you can hire, just like the the knight mercenaries in like the, the Dreadmoon expansion. So it kind of like expands on the uh, the concept of mercenaries as well. And of course, you do get the uh, some furniture like the th the throne, some doors, and of course you got like the big uh, gated doors that I like, guess like I said, this the concept of these quests is like it's like an arena type of deal, and so you got the whole uh, gated door so this is probably like a, a quick video just to kind of highlight the uh, the newest expansion for the hero quest and so of course one final look at like the the, que the quest book and of course like you can see like the like again the ogre lord on the back so the this like i said is the latest expansion on the Hero Quest yeah, uh, gaming, so like you do in like the you do have like a, a message from Mentor pretty much to you know, explain it and of course like uh, this is after like uh, several different pages of explaining uh, going into like the, how this arena actually works and the cards and, and of course it gives you like an idea of like the it goes over the uh, dice rolling game which is slightly different than your like uh, rpgs and everything so and you got the ideas for like the the actual uh tiles that you can see in the course like um they have like a, a team power concept so like uh, what you do is you take certain amount of heroes and like each one costs like a, a certain amount of points and so like uh it goes into depth on like uh monster stats and everything and it actually goes into like uh the the whole idea of point based system with this one is like, uh, for instance, the one of like uh, your ogres might be like uh, worth like uh, eight points, and you get like uh, say ten points to spend on like uh, characters. So like each one is like a, a certain point. So like uh, your druid here might be four points, and like barbarian might be like uh, five points. Like I said, like you have like ten points to spend on like heroes. And the whole concept is you going into the arena based on like a power system, based on that 10 point system type of deal. And you pick and choose your heroes and everything and your monsters. So like it does kind of like a open up the, uh, uh, the whole uh, idea like, uh, or concept of like uh, being able to uh, option, uh, the options of being able to go into the arena with several different types of uh, teams and everything. So like... Uh, good old monsters versus the 
heroes and of course the same like uh the only option the only like uh the difference is like uh, pretty much with teams is like you're limited by just pretty much your imagination and only the point system like I said and of course like you could change it depending on like your ha house rules or like whatever you want to do so this is uh, just like a, the c concept of the whole arena system and everything so like I said this is the latest in the hero quest expansion and i'll probably be getting into the other two expansions as well that i've gotten as well pretty soon